Hey guys, I'm Sara and I'm an Italian opera coach. So this is the first of my opera pills. I've decided as the first topic to speak about the seven Italian vowels and how to sing them. The vowels are seven, ah, the open E, which is only deceitfully written as an E, okay, but it's actually the Latin vowel a, e, 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 because it basically has the position of the a, the low position of the a, with a different, colder nuance. A, e, a. What basically happens is that the tongue comes slightly more forward in the e. A, e, a. Okay, then the closest thing again we have to the I is the U, not by chance the friends pronounce the two vowels in an extremely similar way. Then the closest thing we have to the U is the closed O. Then we have the open A. The open A brings us back to the A. A. So basically, the A is a dark A, and the E is a light A. Fundamentally, in Italian diction, we have two positions, just two, the large position and the narrow position. The vowels to be spoken in the large position are See my tongue, what it does. And then we have a narrow position. The focus of this narrow position being the I, the vowel E. E. There is one eighth vowel, though, in the Italian language, in the Italian speech, and language, which is the so said schwa, the vowel uh. It does have a graphic form in the IPA, in the International Phonetic Alphabet, and it is also daily used in pronunciation. It was actually spelled as a J and written down as a J up until the early 1900s. In several opera scores, you will find the words joya, noya written with a J, not with an I, because that's how we pronounce it. We don't say joya, joya, noya. We say joya, noya. Even words like figlio, voglio, occhio. We will not say figlio, voglio, occhio. Although they are spelled with an I, we will say figlio, voglio, occhio. Basically, you can imagine the Italian vowels as a circle. I always advise to practice them into a circle, starting from the closed E, and then go either close or open. If you go close, you go E. And you're back to the closed E. If you go open, you go E. Once more. E. E. 
And I want to leave you with a very helpful exercise. I think it's very helpful. Take any pitch you want. The exercise would be... without ever tightening your throat and mouth muscles. I always advise my students to forget about their tongue to the point of lisping. And backwards. Don't go, ah, yeah, because that's the first thing that breaks the line when we're singing that chokes us. And then we can switch the order and make sure that we keep a certain consistency, even when we switch from narrow to open and vice versa. The schwa comes in very handy in this exercise because we will see how we will necessarily go through an indistinct face of undistinguishable vowel. Ah, uh, yeah. If I, if we look closer, is in fact. So the schwa is really helpful when singing Italian in order to keep the legato, to keep the line, and never break it. The pros are vocal softness, easiness in pronunciation and in diction, consistency of. Uh, sound throughout the whole line and uh, general Italianness of the outcome. Hope this helps. Bye!